time to take a look at another piece of Nebraska history in a Nebraskan who became known around the country for his work on political cartoons. Joining us now with more on this is Chris Goforth with History Nebraska. Hi, Chris. Hi, Grace. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, we're happy to have you. So what, what do you have for us here today? Yeah, well, many people probably know the name John Falter for his work with the Saturday Evening Post, but he wasn't the only Nebraskan with ties to the publication. Sutton native Herbert Johnson was also a nationally renowned political cartoonist who worked at the Post as well. He was born in 1878. Uh, Johnson attended Western Normal College and then went to the University of Nebraska in Lincoln and began his professional career as an assistant cartoonist for the Denver Republican in 1896. Afterwards, he worked as a freelance cartoonist for the Kansas City Journal and the Philadelphia North American. And then Johnson served as the art director and cartoonist for the Saturday Evening Post from 1912 to 1915 and then continued on as just the cartoonist until his retirement in 1941. Now, his letters and published works, he always kind of downplayed his artistic talents. He said that if he had gone to a real art school, he probably would have become a painter of mediocre landscapes. He was pretty humble, but Johnson's skills as a draftsman and caricature artist, also his knowledge of political and current affairs, as well his, as his ability to convey complex ideas through his art, really enabled him to become one of the premier cartoonists of his day to have one of the uh, more successful careers as a modern day artist from Nebraska. You know, you can learn so much from political cartoons, especially, I, I especially love the ones in the Saturday Evening Post because gosh, there's just something classic and unique about those today. And it's, it's really interesting when you think about how much they can convey in that one little panel. Of, of a cartoon, what, whatever point or information that they're trying to get across. It's, a, it's an amazing talent, and I think it's something that uh, few people probably really appreciate as much as they should. I agree. I certainly appreciate it, but where can more people get information on stories like this one? Yeah, of course, head to our website, history.nebraska.gov. You can follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and X formerly known as Twitter, and we're posting a lot of great information on there as well. And of course, if you enjoy getting uh, your history through the audio side of things, we do have the Nebraska History Podcast. We have a new episode that is coming out this Thursday on 4th of July. It's going to look back on Nebraska's representation at the Centennial in 1876. So check that out. Yeah, those would be great resources to look at. And I'd like to look at a few more of his cartoons because I'm sure there's just so much information about what was happening through the eyes of a Nebraskan at the time. Yep, you can find all that at our website, history.nebraska.gov, and you can search through our uh, digital collections and uh, check it all out there. All right, well, thank you so much, Chris. Grace, thank you.